Hey fans, welcome to this week's edition of Albany Devils Insider. Joined as we are every week by the head coach of the Albany Devils, Rick Kowalski. Rick, thanks for taking some time. As always. Now, uh, let's talk about those last games this weekend. Specifically, let's talk about Sunday's game. Obviously, Friday's game against Bridgeport, great game. Came up with a big win. The players were certainly in. They, they were certainly energized for that game. You had Saturday's game against Adirondack. Sunday's game was was a little bit different. It it, it seemed they. It felt like a third game in three days. Yeah, I think, again, fatigue's always going to be a factor with that three and three. Um, you know, but I, I still, I didn't have a problem with we, uh, the way we played. I thought Syracuse did a good job of uh, kind of sitting back at times and, and uh, lulling us to sleep. And, and um, you know, we, we certainly had our chances. Um, you know, these games are, are, are becoming so close that there's such tight checking. They're, they're getting down to the, uh, the stretch run here where, where points are so important for everybody, whether their guys are in, uh, teams are in, or, or you're chasing a team and trying to get in. And that was the case with them. They're, I think part of it, too, is, is um, you know, the, Trent Yanni now has a, a bit of a footprint on that team. And um, I think they've, they've committed defensively and, and a little tighter uh, – uh, light, tighter checking team, and and then they're getting good goaltending. So um, you know it's it's going to be a good test for us. I mean, we can't look at the standings. I mean, they they got uh, some offensive fi uh, firepower, and then like I said, they're playing a lot better defensively. And um, you know, we just have to keep pushing through here. Again, I didn't have a problem with the way we played. We just didn't get the result that we have been getting the last couple weekends. Playing them twice this weekend, playing Adirondack as well. With Syracuse, seven games. The road team has won every single one of them. Obviously, that's something of a coincidence, but why do you think that's happening? Well, you know, we had the 7-1 blowout where we were, I think, tired from our, our road trip. I, I don't know. I really do think it's a coincidence. Um, they've all been pretty close games. Uh, they've all really been, with the exception of maybe one, uh, there's been an empty netter. Obviously, we won one nothing there uh, early on in the year and then had an empty netter a couple weeks ago there. So they've all been close games, and uh, I don't think there's any coincidence uh, between uh, it just seems to happen sometimes that, that way. So uh, obviously, we feel pretty comfortable in that building, and, and uh, hopefully that will uh, hold up this weekend as well. With obviously the stretch run, as you mentioned, right now, every game is so important. Do you approach things differently? Does the team approach things differently? Or is it just, you know, try to keep it one day at a time and stay the way you've been playing? Yeah, you still have to just, we've done a, such a good job of getting that, that Friday win, which is which is huge uh, from a confidence momentum standpoint. And, and this weekend will be no different. But uh, I think the, the, the biggest thing, in, and we've talked about it a little bit this week, is, is we're going into this weekend for the first time being the... Uh, the hunted instead of the hunter, you know, and, and we can't change our mentality because we're playing teams that are, are chasing us. We, we know they're going to be sitting in that room saying these are four-point games like we were against Bridgeport and Connecticut and some of these teams. So, um, you know, we we uh, have put ourselves in a position where we're in. Um, we just have to keep winning and, and, and keep that uh, urgency and desperation in our game and, and, again, get off to a good start on Friday. Big surprise, another 3-3 three and three this weekend, and all the games, very important. Head coach of the Albany Devils, Rick Kowalski. Rick, thanks for taking some time. I'm call. Remember, you can catch all your Devils information at TheAlbanyDevils.com. Follow us on Facebook or on Twitter as well. See you next time.